First question is from ZW Spivy. What is the best way to increase grip strength? Mm. Grip strength. We get a lot of questions on grip strength, and I do, and I made this comment before, but I do think it's important. Did you do a YouTube video on this? I did, and I, I put some like forearm developing exercises on there. But here's here's something. This is something that's very important to consider. Okay, your hands literally connect you to everything that you're doing, and they're we evolved to have very you know intricate fingers, like we can place them well, but also strong hands. Literally, if your hands aren't strong enough to support the weight that you could lift with your shoulders and your back and your legs, then you can't lift that weight. What's happened is uh, our, we barely ever use our hands. In fact, there was a study done with college-aged males. They tested their grip strength, and it was recent. It was like within the last five years. And they found that their grip strength was as good as a 60-year-old's in the 1980s. Like, we just don't do anything with our hands. And now this has far-reaching effects on the body. It affects the way that your shoulders move. Of course, affects your workouts. It affects wrist health. And so it's definitely something that's important to focus on. So if you're working out and you can't hold on to the barbell or the, the dumbbells, you find your hands fatigue, and you're not like some champion power lifter who's lifting ungodly amounts of weight, uh, this is something you should focus on. One of the best things you could do to improve your grip strength is to do a little bit of grip work every single day. So this is an old exercise device. It's probably one of the first pieces of exercise equipment that was ever sold. It's those old school hand grippers that you can- Like you know, a spring-loaded one? A spring-loaded one. And, and now careful because you can overdo this, but literally at your desk, have it there. And every hour, you know, mess around with it for five minutes and then put it down. That's it. And don't go to failure. You're just you're just working the hands a little bit, and your grip strength will go through the roof. What I mean, what are you guys' thoughts? Because this person, the rest of the question, Doug didn't say, was struggling with grip on uh, progressing on barbell rows. What are your thoughts of tools like the fat grips and this person using the fat grips to do barbell rows? Well, they'll have to use way less weight because that uh, makes it harder. Yeah. Initially, yes. I think um, they. I mean, they could just focus on the regular bar to get their hands stronger. If it's pro progr if it's stopping them from progressing, I mean, you're going to have to do some stuff to get your grip stronger, or just be super patient because eventually it'll catch up. You yeah, know? Or I like farmer farmer carries. Yeah. You know, doing things like that to to do it. I mean, I mean, I, I like the the squeezing and contracting, and I think I think that's going to help. But I feel like something that is more closely related to what they are trying to try. Like yeah. the, it's for barbell rows, right? So doing it, it, anything but that is is going to not give you as good of an adaptation as doing that exercise. So I would do things like just get no wrist wraps on heavy barbell rows and or playing with things like fat grips on that and yeah. doing the rows. Here's an old school exercise. Um, this is back when newspapers existed. So you might be able to use something else, but you take a big sheet of newspaper. I guess you could do this with butcher paper. And with one hand, you start at the corner and you crumple it up little by little until you get the whole thing into a ball. It's actually a very good um, hand exercise. And then in the gym, of course, you can hold on to things for time. That's more of an isometric thing. But don't forget that because it's isometric, the strength tends to be, I mean, there's definitely, it definitely radiates out, but a lot, most of the strength is in that position, right? So work on gripping things that are fatter, like you said, fat yeah. grips or pinch grip, so you can hold plates with your hands like this, like this, one finger at a time if you really want to get well real that's crazy. why I like what okay that's why I like going this direction because it is a, it's an isometric contraction problem here yeah. if you're, if you're doing barbell rows and you can't hold on to the barbell it, it's the it's you being able to hold in that yeah. your hands are in an isometric position you're rowing okay so the rest of your body's not but your hands are and so doing things in the so hangs you know hanging with your body weight on a pull up bar I think would help I think the fat grips on on the barbell would work and then, of course, just getting getting yeah, good frequency at frequency and volume of holding heavy things. I mean, it's and like to your point of uh, farmer walks. That was a big game changer for me. Just holding weight for longer periods yes. of time because and two, you don't really realize that you're holding it for a longer period of time. You're just trying to get to you know so many yards of carrying these objects. Yeah. Uh, so at least it takes kind of the focus away from it. 
Um, but yeah, like it just exposing, you know, your hands to more, uh, different types of, um, you know, textures and like, even like the, like we have the rice bucket stuff, like in, in our OCR program, it's like things like that are, you know, things you don't normally do. And if that's really a focus of yours, you know, expose like, uh, just more dexterity and, and more function out of your fingers, which then helps with the overall hand strength, which then, you know, goes up to your grip and your, your wrist strength and everything else it's just a matter of like you know, contracting and moving your fingers yes. and your hands and, and picking things up yeah and of course the the forearm you know flexors and extenders are kind of connected to that right so there's exercises that'll flex uh extend but then don't don't forget lateral a lot of people forget that this also is important Fly so, fishing right there. Yeah, yeah so i'll 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 i used to get a um like a dumbbell, like, you know, the ones that you can load with weight, the old school ones, so you can load weight or whatever. And I would hold one end and I would load it with a tiny bit of weight on one end. So it was offset. And then I do this exercise here or hold a bit here and go in this direction. You so I'm good doing, for that. Indian clubs. Indian. Uh, I'll do oh. that sometimes too, just because yeah, you have like that long yes. lever uh, to account for. Yeah. That, now, that, that being said, all these exercises we're talking about right now, like for forearms and trying to develop for your, your grip strength, the greatest gains I ever had on my grip strength came way later when I started just heavy ass deadlifting yeah. and farmer carries. Totally. Yeah. Like I, and, and I had done, I've like, I remember potatoes, wrist curls and reverse wrist curls and doing all this, you know, all the different moves to develop my forearms, to try and work on my grip strength. Nothing gave me better grip strength than actually just getting stronger at deadlifting, stronger mm -hmm. at farmer yep. carries that brought it up more than anything yeah. else. And, and a stronger grip for people listening or watching who are like, eh, I'm okay. Right. Like what's the benefit? Your presses, your rows, your curls, your extensions, when your hands feel strong, yeah. you're so much more connected to the exercise and you get better activation up the kinetic chain. So they find, for example, that wearing wrist straps, which tends to make us use a weaker grip, re changes the activation up in the neck and in the shoulder. So get, having a stronger grip, even on presses, even exercise you don't think you need to have a strong grip, when your grip is, like try this, next time you bench press, Try putting wrist support on and wrist straps on around the bar, and all of a sudden you can lift more weight. Like, how is that possible? It's simulating a stronger grip. So, yeah. strengthen your grip, and don't be surprised if you don't see all your lifts uh, improve as a result.